Hello everybody, so it seems I haven't posted in ages so today I'm going to be doing a video about how to perfect your kicks technically in Pumse. You'll see loads of people just throwing their legs in the air as high as they can without much technique and that is so not the answer, you want lower kicks with perfect technique so we're just going to go through that. So yeah, here we go. So the first kick we're going to look at is front kick, uh, so number one is your hand position. What does your martial arts aim to do or the certain Pumse or pattern form? So your hands up here, they down here, it really depends. So, focus on the detail, you need to learn little things like that. Don't just throw the kick with your hands anywhere, okay? Next, what you need to do is focus on your chamber. So you're gonna bring your knee as high as you can, okay, before extending, because you'll see loads of people just throw their kick and their chamber at the same time to break up. So chamber first, so you can get as much power as you can in the kick, and then extend your leg. So whilst you chamber, you'll slightly turn your bottom foot out to the side, Lifting your knee as high as you can for that maximum power and then from here is when we're going to extend. So, kick. And in the air what you're doing is, you're not just pointing your toes or just leaving your foot, you're bringing your toes back, hashtag banana sauce. So in the air, knee as high as you can and then extend, bringing your toes back, okay? All together from here. So don't extend before you've reached your maximum chamber. Once you've reached your maximum chamber, then you can extend, okay? So here, well, it's a really good thing to know for mastering this kick for Pumse, is that you need to lower your kick slightly so you're not just throwing your leg in the air as high as you can. You need to do it at a height where you can maintain that strong technique. So what I always do, rather than throw my kick up here, what I'm gonna be doing is throwing it around this height, because I know at that height I can stick the kick for a couple of seconds. That shows your leg strength and control. So from here, one, two, and you want it to stick right at the top there. In lowering your kick to less of a height, that shows that you've got a lot more control when you're sticking your kick at this height, rather than just fling it in the air and not being able to hold it at all. So from here, if you can only stick it at this height, stick it at that height, but make sure you've got that perfect technique of lifting your knee up first, extending the leg, putting your toes back, sticking the kick and then going down rather than just going like that. Okay, so here, up, yes, stick and down, and then back down. Try and make sure I just bent my leg there that your bottom leg stays as straight as possible. So obviously the higher you go, the more likely your leg's gonna bend, so you wanna make sure you're at a height where your leg doesn't bend too much in the bottom. So here, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what your thoughts are, any other video suggestions, if you have any questions or queries. Email me, DM me, comment below, whatever you want to do. But yeah, main thing, subscribe. Sorry I haven't been posting a lot recently, but I'm going to get back into it. I've recently bruised my ribs, but hopefully it will be sorted soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Love and good vibes to you all. Bye-bye.